welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zandile Vilagazi and this is my YouTube channel. It's fun, you can clap for me and I know that my nails are a mess. But we move. Right guys, I'm sorry for not uploading. I had some technical problems. It's, it was just a lot. So I had to buy a ring light, waited for money, guys, it's okay. It's probably going to be a story for another day, right? So before we start anything, before I proceed, before we get on with the video and me continue rambling, because that's probably what I'm going to do, please subscribe, like this video if you like it, if you like me and like the content or you like this video, and click the bell button, right? And before I gain we proceed, can I please thank you guys here? Yeah. Can I please thank you? Thank you so much. Last week, like, well, English. I'm saying last week, I've reached 100 subscribers. And this week, I'm actually, I feel like maybe next week, which is like next week, Monday. I don't know when this video is going to be released. Probably by the time this video, this video becomes released, I'm going to be in 200 subscribers. Yo, guys, I am so happy. Like... I have no words, honestly speaking, and I talk a lot, so I genuinely have no words. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the comments and everything. People telling me how my, my story is inspiring them. It's actually motivating them to go back to school and basically showing them the fact that it's not the end of the world. It's, it's never the end of the world. If you put your mind in it, you're going to get what you want at the end of the day. Speaking about my previous video, I actually, since I got so much DMs and just people, what's again, okay, making my heart melt and everything and other people actually asking for advice or different options and stuff like that. I decided, let me just make a video on the different options of the metric. So let's get on with the video. So talking about the different options, what happened is when you're done with metric, I feel like when you do badly, don't think the fact that it's the end of the world. There is like, I think it's the after program of like when you're done with metric, if you feel like your marks are not good enough, there's actually an after program. There's different options that you can take so that you can improve your marks and actually end up doing what you want, meaning like career wise or whatever you want to do, right? So the first option that I'm going to talk about is supplementary exam. So how supplementary exam works is you have to first qualify for that exam. It's an exam that's written in Feb, March. If there is no pandemic, like normal calendar, no pandemic, that exam is written in Feb March. So what happened is you have to kind of like qualify these like requirements that you need to meet so that like not really requirements, you need to meet one of the things, points that I'm going to say. I don't know what I'm going to say all of them, but if I don't say all of them, I'm going to leave a link below so that you can go through them so that you can see which one fits to your description so the first one the ultimate first one is that if you failed uh your metric right and you need like at least two subjects to actually pass your uh what you call this nsc which is your national senior certificate right to do that is you apply then we apply, then you tell you, you write that, what you call it, that Feb March exam. Then after writing that Feb March, if you pass the two subjects, let's say you need the two subjects, then you go on with your life, you get your national senior certificate. The second point is you, let's say you're sick. Let's say you're sick or something happened, like maybe there was a funeral and something like that you can actually and you couldn't write the exam during that year you can actually apply for that supplementary exam then you write the test that you missed then i'm gonna write the feb march exam which is the supplementary then when you pass it you get your national senior certificate which is i'm gonna abbreviate it now because it's too long to say i'm gonna say nsc right then another thing is this one I, even me, I didn't even know it. 
So what happened is, let's say you provide like information or evidence to the where you apply for national senior, senior certificate, which sorry, not national senior certificate. Let's say you provide evidence at the Department of Education to say the fact that you want to write us up, and your reason why you want to write us up is because of maybe you kind of qualified for a certain course you need to like give evidence you qualified for a certain course but when you qualify for a certain course maybe let's say for instance you're mad you needed like one person you can act guys you can actually apply Im imagine you can actually apply for the supplementary exam instead of you like doing an upgrading for the whole year you can just apply for the what you call this for the sub then you applying for the sub if they do approve you you can write that feb march then if you write that feb march when you're past maybe next year when you apply again because already i think by the time it's late next year when you apply then you can actually if like you pass the test maybe you can actually get accepted right the other one if there is irregularity meaning like maybe there was just some shady things that were happening Maybe in your school, I don't know, or maybe maybe the teacher was wrong, guys, we don't know. Maybe things happened and you feel like maybe it was unfair, I don't know, your case. But if you feel like there was irregularity, right, and it needs to be investigated and all that, you can actually apply for the sub-exam and write your exam again, right? Then another one is if, like, let's say you didn't write a sub-exam or you didn't come imagine if you didn't complete your exam like during your normal matric year and if you didn't complete that exam or you didn't write it at all providing your reasons are valid and they have weight guys your reasons have to have weight and you talk with your principal and when you talk to your principal your principal supports your statement and stuff like that you can actually apply for a sub exam and you write in fact and much instead of you like waiting for the whole year to write so that's like the requirements or things that you need or situations i think that you can be in and you can apply for the sub exams so where you apply for the sub you basically can go to the what you call this you can go to your school talk to them tell them the fact that you wanna your high school that i mean you want to tell them the fact that no i want to write my sub then they'll give you all the details that are necessary for you to apply for a supplementary exam so that is the first option the, the most easy option but with that one it has like i feel like everything has its pros and cons the pros of you writing in fact and much is that you don't need to wait like you don't have to do the work course thing and waiting for the whole year to write, but you're just writing immediately. See, that's what I'm saying. It's a nice situation if you want to pass like that year. You just, I don't know, guys. Maybe you want to take in, maybe you want to go to UNISA and you want to apply for second semester at UNISA. Then that one, I feel like it's a better option because of you're going to get your results very early, meaning you can start going to varsity at that same year. But I feel like it's a con in a matter of, you let's say you didn't do badly like let's say you did badly and you're still forced to write the feb march and already by february and march the time that the exams are written already varsity has started so you still have to wait the whole year to actually start attending meaning you're gonna have to go to school the following year so i feel like if it's a matter of like maybe that subject you didn't understand it properly don't take the supplementary exam because chances are you have like one month to study the whole chapter, the whole subject that you you want to write this up. So I feel like if if you want to go to varsity or sorry something like that, then just just consider upgrading. So I feel like that's the kind of tricky thing, not tricky thing. I think the cons of it. I feel like if you feel like if you want to go to varsity, you're still gonna go to varsity the following year. Rather just take the whole year, take your time with studying so that you can get the like you so you can get like super good marks and you end up barely getting into varsity. Right? So I think I said the pros and cons. Now let's go to the next one, which is another option is upgrading or rewriting. 
right? Upgrading and rewriting is what I did after my metric, which is like when I did my metric the second time in my story time. If you watched it, if you haven't watched it, what are you doing? It's the click and watch it. It's as they say, they say it's very inspiring. Mm -hmm. I'm just joking. So I'm saying the fact that uh, that's what I did the first time. So what I did the first time is I got my results. Then there were certain subjects that I didn't like their marks, or I felt like those marks were the one that are not making me get accepted in varsity. So what I did is I upgraded my math. So I went back and registered to write maths again, physics, English, and yeah, only those three. So that's upgrading. It's not you doing the entire seven subjects, but then you just doing the just a selected few subjects. That's when you upgrade. So with that one, if you're an adult, Anne, very important. If you're an adult, don't think the fact that maybe you need to go back and go back to college or um, eh, what you call this, go back to high school because of maybe you've reached the five year. Yeah, the five-year mark bench, what you call this? That five-year gap thing. Where I think, let me explain it properly. So basically, when you're done with metric, after five years, your SPS mark kind of disappears. Like, they don't consider it, right? So a lot of people actually stress about the fact that if that happens, what am I going to do? You can actually still upgrade, but it's different with yours instead of, you're not going to write your exam at the end, like in November, you're not going to write your exam with the current metrics, but you're going to write your exam in June. So it's still the same thing with us. It's just that you guys have like the adults, if you've matriculated like five years before you want to upgrade like now, what that is that you're going to write your exams in June instead of writing your exams in November. But when I was at GP, there were some adults that actually could write in November. I don't know why, but I know with adults is that you write in June. So don't stress with your normal SPA mark disappeared and stuff like that, what's gonna happen? They consider you guys because feel like they feel they know the fact that education is important. Well, right? so upgrading is taking those selected subjects that you want to fix. Maybe you feel like your statement is okay, and you take those selected subjects, you upgrade them right in November when the metrics in, in that current year are writing. You write with them, you guys write the same paper, you pass, you go on with your life, you apply things are nice then the last option is actually going back to school and that's what i did when i said i did my third metric so with that one is i know the fact that not a lot of school not a lot of schools actually offer that i i don't know whether in my high school the first high school can i really go back and be like uh, I want to go back to school. I don't know. But I know the fact that there's certain schools that actually, if you've done metric before, they actually allow you to like repeat and have a clean slate type of situation. Like we pretend like we didn't do metric. We're doing it all over again type of situation. And that one goes is the fact that you register like a normal student. You're going to wear uniform. You're going to be a, you're going to be a metric again, guys. It's, nothing changes you're gonna write the assignments the test everything it's you redoing metric afresh with that one right oh before we with that one right one thing that i've loved about that one is that as i said it's a clean slate is that i don't have to worry about my spa marks being low and all that i'm just having a clean slate i'm I'm, 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 I'm pretending like I've never done metric before, meaning I'm giving the opportunity to be just the best, you get me? And with that one, your APS score kind of like increases. And with that one, the nice thing is in other schools, I know the fact that you can add like an extra subject just to boost your APS score, which is that's what I did. In my first metric, I did seven subjects, but when I went to GP and actually did my metric again, I added another subject. With that, guys, be careful on which subject you add. Because I felt like the one that I added when, actually, when, when I got to varsity, I found out that it's not counted. So your tourism is not even, even counted in your AP, a, a, what you call this, APS score, right? But your history, I think it is counted. Just, just talk with your teachers at school. Or you can research about it too, the fact that 
which one is added and which one is not added right so i feel like that's the options that you have so if right now you're watching this video and you're feeling like this is the end of the world it's not the end of the world i did it don't don't mind my nails but i did it three times and i am where i am i'm glad that i did it three times and i feel like a lot of people and let's say you're watching this video and you're doing it for the third time or you're done with it or maybe you're about to enter varsity and you're feeling the fact that or what if I'm not going to cope in varsity because I did it for the third time? Maybe I'm slow and stuff like that. It's not that. Maybe your intelligence came in a later stage like me. Mine came in a later stage. And I am actually doing well in varsity. So it doesn't necessarily mean the fact that you're slow if you're going to go back and do your, your, what you're going to do, your metric like three times. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. It doesn't mean the fact that you're slow or or the fact that you fast guys it means nothing it's just you knowing the fact that okay i want to be this and i don't want to just pick a course because of my ips score is low because I, I i don't i don't like that right personally so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed i gain please subscribe and click the bell button and man like this video if you liked this video and it was helpful and comment below if you have any questions my dms are open and the comment section comment i always reply as you've seen with my previous one thank you so much guys i see you next time bye